Hi guys, welcome to the tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your website in uh, Webmaster Tools, in Google Webmaster Tools. Um, I do advise business owners to do this. I know it is; it, sound, it might look a little bit complicated, but it, it really isn't. And um, the more that you can learn about your website, obviously the better for your business, and you won't have to pay someone else to do like the basics, so to speak. And um, so Webmaster Tools is kind of the basic. Uh, set of tools to kind of monitor your website and have a look what's going on um, you can find errors and you can see what keywords people are typing in you can see the traffic that's coming into the site and the most you know the best pages and there's quite a lot that you can do in there and um, it isn't as advanced as Google Analytics I will cover that in another video but that's that's more for um, developers and marketers to be honest but I, um, I do recommend this so first of all you'll need to obviously you'll need a Google account so if you go to Google um, I'm going to set a, a new one up now and um, so just if you go into go to Google uh, type in webmaster tools I'm trying to do this in layman's terms so I might sound I, I try and make things sound a little bit um, easier than than a web developer so if you type in Google Webmaster Tools, click the top link and it will bring you to the sign in page. So if you've not got an account already, a Gmail account or a Google account of some sort, um, then you'll need to create one. If you do, obviously just put your email and phone number, uh, email and password in and it will take you to uh, the setup page, which I'll cover in a minute. So I'm just going to I'm just going to set a new account up because I need I need it to be a fresh installation to be able to show you exactly how to do it. So I'll be back in a second. So once you've logged in or created your new account, you'll come to the search console page, and this is where you need to add your website. So you type in your website. I'm going to use uh, one of my clients as an example because I know he doesn't mind me featuring in him in these videos, and type your domain in and click add property next you'll get a page where you have to download a verification file that you will need to upload to your server uh, through FTP um, there are alternate methods but this is the easiest way so download the uh, HTML verification file that will go to your downloads file in Windows or downloads in, in Mac um, and then you've got to put it on your server now I use um, a free piece of software called FileZilla and um, this is like the most used free FTP uh, desktop application out there if you don't have it um, I suggest you download it because uh, this is the only way you can add files to your server from your desktop um, there is another way that you can do it through your hosting. Um, they they usually do have a file manager in your control panel through the hosting. So basically, I'll show you how to do it through FileZilla. So I'll just type in the credentials and I'll come back to you. So now I'm logged into the server. As you can see, this is, these are the WordPress files. I don't, you're probably not familiar with those, but it needs to be placed within the main index folder of your website, which is usually either public HTML or index, something like that. So, um, I'll find the verification file, which if you click desktop, and usually underneath that says downloads, find the verification file drag it over, doesn't matter where you put it here as long as you don't put it in the folder make sure you drop it so now the file is on the server we can go back to Google and click I'm not a robot complete the verification click verify and there we go so we're now connected to shackwrap.co.uk click continue and then you'll be brought into this panel now from this panel obviously you can see analytics any errors 
if there's any of these errors, you probably need to contact me for me to sort those out. Um, I think they're a little bit too advanced for, for just the general business owner. Um, for a brand new website, I always say submit a sitemap. I will do that in another video. Um, but the most important one for me for business owners is the search analytics. This is quite an established site, so it does have some figures already. If your site is brand new, then you'd have to wait probably a month to, to get these figures. Um, but as you can see in the search analytics page, you can see such things as the number one query and how many clicks. And this is where you can pick up your keywords from if you ever want to do any SEO. You can check who links back to your site. You can check for crawl errors. You can fetch pages if you need to. I think they're probably a bit more advanced. I'm going to stick to the search analytics for business owners. But I always like to click all the options because this actually gives you an indication of where your pages sit in Google as well and the click through rates, impressions which means how many times your website's shown um, for a set period. This is just the last 28 days that we're looking at here. So if we change that to the last seven days, obviously these are going to change. And we're able to see where we are in the search engines, click through rates, impressions. We can choose kind of the pages section which gives us the most uh, featured, you know, the most visited pages. Um, I'll probably do another video actually showing this in more detail, but that's this video is just purposely showing you how to uh, obviously install a verification file. So yeah, have a look around. Uh, you can't like break your website through this, um, but if you do see any errors, you know, you're best off getting in touch with me. Um, just send us an email, uh, onewebdesignberry.co.uk. Go to the contact page and contact me there. Hope you learned something and I'll see you in another video. Cheers.